Nerds Talking, the podcast. Yo, we talk about lightsabers, stunning your TV screens, what you want to stream, everything beyond your dreams. Want to talk about movies, sports, or even politics. Go ahead and tune in to us. We'll give you all of it. Whatever you debate, next box of PlayStation, Marvel the DC, Mac or PC. Terra flops when the movie drops, gigabytes, chips, RAM. No matter what it is, we got all of it. Welcome to the show. Nerds Talking. The podcast. Welcome to Nerds Talking the Podcast. Friday, new show, and we got Laura, Carlos, Johnny, and I'm Lafayette. Johnny's back in action, and we saw some really good stuff on Netflix. White Noise, incredible movie starring Kylo Ren. We got Adam Driver. Um, I see the main. That's pretty much it, right? When it comes to star power in that movie is kylo ren uh don Cheeto. oh that's right don Cheeto, andre 3000 from outcast he's in it too. oh that was him i thought so that's right that's right and then we all saw the stanley tucci uh tv sh- miniseries i guess um inside Limited man series. um with uh doctor who was in it or one hey, of the, the doctors yeah. yeah there you go one of the doctors so we'll talk about that and uh and more and before we do that, um, well, how's everybody doing? Laura, how are you doing? I'm okay. Okay. Things okay. have gotten better. The newborn is emerging from her fetal, you know, stage. The human yep. beings are born about three months too early. They call it the fourth trimester. And so she's almost two months and she's kind of emerging from that. So this week we got our first like tiny smiles and little like goos where she's like, and it's cute. And so that's helpful in like, you know, not it's almost like so uh, those creatures from the dark yeah, I, was gonna, I was gonna say, yeah, <laughs> like a <laughs> creature from like a fantasy <laughs> movie. And you're like, that's so cute. Yeah. And then it, then it, it attacks it? your jugular and your jugular. <laughs> okay. uh, Four trimester, get off okay. <laughs> Just your emotional jugular. That's what they go for. Wait, how can it be a fourth jugular. trimester? Hmm. That's because a... well, it's... the, the math is <laughs> you're not good at math, Lafayette. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I just uh, thought about that. Yeah. But yeah, things are things are getting a little bit better. The sleep schedule is still very chaotic, and so that's why I go to bed at nine o'clock, eight forty-five, depending on the evening. Uh, but I've been getting more sleep, um, and so things are on the upswing. And so I will just say that it's a positive note. Well, there we go. There we go, Johnny. How was your barbecue last time we left? Did it turn out the way mm. you wanted it to? You know, uh, so I, I barbecued for my work, roughly about. 50 or 60 people and one of my grills went down oh Shut macaroni no so i would uh do like six hours uh, on my other smoker and then finish it in the oven and then just it, it was very much like one of those cooking shows where they're just running around and you're sitting at home judging them that's what it was exactly like i it bet was it was like, still delicious though it wasn't my best work, but I've I heard the term, you know, best brisket I ever had, you know, things like that. So, oh, really? You told yourself that? Did they give you? <laughs> and I had a legitimate question after seeing after listening to that podcast. Do they give you time off to do that? All that in your like extra time, because that does seem like a lot of fucking work. So yeah, that um, that's evolved over the years, right? When I first started doing this. Uh, one of my sergeants who was really cool at the time. He was just like, Hey, all right, you know, go ahead and clean up and just go back to work. I'm like, huh, well, I've been up since 10 this morning. It's fucking <laughs> two o'clock in, in the morning. All right, no problem. But then like it evolved over the years. And then, um, so now I, I pretty much get a day off. That's okay. That's cool. Then that I, that I would much rather spend my day at work cooking than actually being at work. So that's cool. Yeah. I can see Johnny when that burner went out, running to the bathroom, crying, looking in the mirror. That's the best brisket you ever did. That's the best brisket. Yeah, you ever did. He's staying positive no matter Just what. Rubbing the meat on my face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. 
I didn't yeah, let anyone but... down. I didn't let anyone down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good enough. They're gonna be my friends. Uh, <laughs> drinking the drinking the barbecue bottle like it's like it's liquor. Just down it. Just <laughs> the sauce. He's just sauce. Just sauce. 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 saucing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting sauce, bitch. <laughs> it's like what what wh- what are those movies like where the they're putting on the lipstick and uh, you're pretty. You're really pretty. <laughs> oh, that's Sounds in the Lambs. Buffalo Bill. Oh, you in the mirror? <laughs> Junk in between his legs? Fuck me, I'd fuck me. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I'd fuck my brisket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're not burnt, baby. Love. You're not burnt. You're just bright. <laughs> Thick. You're sick, Johnny. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a yeah, sicko. Yeah. So I, I was listening to the podcast last week. And Carlos's uh, Christmas was no, pretty Kwanzaa. terrible. Kwanzaa, your your yeah. Kwanzaa, your Christmas and your Kwanzaa were pretty yeah. terrible. Yeah. And as bad as that is, mine was a little bit worse. Just That's a little. I never bit. brought it up to you. That's why I didn't mention it. I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right. It's one of those things where yeah, you you go first. Yeah. <laughs> you you tell me about your weekend, and then I'll tell you about how my little girl got diagnosed with cancer. What now. the fuck? Wait, so the diagnosis <sighs> is official. It's official. It's fucking cancer. This is wild, man. What kind? Wild. It's rhabdomyosarcoma. So it's like a muscle muscular cancer. It's located outside of her bladder. And uh it just fucking grew. Like her stomach was hella big, just in the like below her belly button. <clears throat> so we sent a picture of the doc and she had a history of uh, constipation so she's like all right we'll, we'll try flushing her out and then that didn't work and then the next week it's an x-ray ct scan fucking all the tests and then finally a biopsy and then uh you know when they cut her open and then lo- they looked at it i mean they i guess they didn't really need tests uh to see that it was cancer it was pretty much labeled so yeah and then uh, the week after that or that was christmas um, and then the week after that, she got a port put in and started her first round of chemo. Oh, so is she going to have, so they're doing chemo before trying to just cut it out. Yeah. It's fucking shrinking. huge. Like oh, you it know, is huge. standard treatment to shrink yeah. before surgery. Well, that's true. Yeah. yeah I guess it's you're it's right. so big, you know, like normally they'll like measure it in like millimeters or whatever. They're like, yeah, this is five inches by four and a half. Oh, inches. Huge. oh my God. It's fucking huge. Right? Now, so, so that's so... what's blocking her colon then. So she can't pass. No, rules. I don't know if that has anything. It's just mushing up against everything. So yeah, they yeah, were yeah. like, they can't, there. they can't remove it without like damaging organs so they're going to shrink mm. it with chemo and holy shit that's huge yeah so yeah. i mean the only way to like make that story worse would be like being stranded at in Las i was gonna vegas. say <laughs> yeah. stranded in vegas just stranded and in vegas with cancer that's standing be around oh shit they have cancer what you missed your flight no no cancer like, <laughs> yeah. what? stand by no no stand no by? no you don't understand <laughs> you don't understand <laughs> So, so my question is, I mean, they're going to, of course, shrink it, but I mean, they just found it. So I assume they just told you it's like stage one or whatever. Like, it's... Well, you know how, like when you fill out your tax form, you're like, oh, are you head of household? Then go to box two. Yep. Are you this and that? And like, so we, we went off that chart and then just by the size and location, it's stage three. Oh, okay. Because the size and location. I got yeah, you. Yeah. I got you. Okay. I mean. You know, I always tell people, no matter the situation, right? The doctors and so forth, that's the best place for it, right? It's the best place to be. So, yeah, like, they're going to have to step by step, day by day. And, you know, you go from there. And Yeah. And the what? port for the cancer is good, though, right? Because it, it is like directly into the tumor. So hopefully less like overall side effects. Or... Um, You know, How these are she... these are all excellent questions. And she's so, she's, you know. Uh, she turns three in March and she doesn't know what, what's going on really. Yeah, she I won't mean, remember yeah. this uh, in the end, but she's not happy. Yeah. Um, the day of the day after chemo and, or surgery, you know, she's a mess. And then she slowly gets back into it. She counts to her hundreds. And then, you know, um, then we started all over again. So, 
every every other what day? Every other three days, four days? Every week we're doing. Oh, so once a week. Yeah, once a week. Oh, okay, once a week. Yeah. And then they check they check on it how often? Uh, they they said they're gonna reassess the uh, the size after eight weeks. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Little eight eight week two two month interval, huh? Yeah. It's wild. Uh, man. They don't want to hit it all that radiation at once, man. Yeah. Uh, apparently, after chemo. Everything's radioactive with her. So, like, we have to double up our gloves when changing the diapers. Anything that comes out of her is radioactive. So, no shit. say something funny to me, and I'm going to throw a diaper in your face. <laughs> no. Well, well, I've seen Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, don't shit at me. Johnny, don't shit at me, man. You're going to put, it in, <laughs> you're gonna put it in a metal drum and bury it in your backyard and pour concrete over it, right? It's well, they, they, they said it's a... Uh, Radioactive for twenty four hours, but I oh, okay short time. Not quite sure. And then, like lately, does it glow? And... No, I don't think so. That's too bad. So lately, and I, I'm a bad human for this, right? My <laughs> wife's coming. Some real. My bad. wife has been annoying me lately, and I don't know if it's the stress of the cancer or if she's an just annoying in general. Well, well, it's in general, probably both. <laughs> you've talked about this in the past, so I'm just just. Well, I mean, it's maybe it's ramped up right now. And uh, I don't know. This is a question for Laura. Why don't women know what the fuck they want to eat? Oh, that's <laughs> normal. Come on. That's you know what it has nothing to do with the cancer. It's, it's the cancer. push and pull of what I want to eat and what I should eat. No, that's, no. At least mm. that's me. I'm like, well, what do I want and what should I eat? Well, that's not the question. The, the no, question no, is going to no, be like, no. what? are we having for dinner tonight mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but not the question isn't like what kind of internal struggle are you dealing with <laughs> that's going to affect our meal so like shit like that recently i was like hey you want to mm. go to in and out and that's a really good burger joint she's mm-hmm. like no well what do you want then i don't know i don't know right and it, I, that's and I hit the ejection seat on my car, but it didn't work. So <laughs> how I about, had to take how about, it in. How about when you gonna, get the um when you get the whole well, whatever you want. And then when you do pick what you want, it's the wrong thing. Oh, you picked uh, this. Absolutely. I didn't want this. Yeah. What we, hey, what, what what about this? No, I don't want that. Okay, what about this? No, yeah, yeah. No. no. I well, mean, say what you want. This? We handle this in the household as like there are two or three choices, and like it's like I am fine with either of these three you choose. Like that's what we do in our household. So if it's, if it's a, a, an annoyance, I recommend just limiting choices. Like, don't just say like, where do you want from anywhere? Be like, where do you want from Chipotle? Would you want Chipotle pizza or I don't know, crazy Your logic like, is you know, flawed. Whatever. I've tried that numerous <laughs> times. Really? I've tried the whole, Hey, do you want pasta, Mexican, or this? Okay, oh, you want I'll this? Okay, well. then I'm going to name you three you places here? that serve these three things. Oh, that that one's okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, we'll get that okay. one. Oh, we should have got the other one after the fact. I'm like, oh, god damn it! No matter what I say, you just just pick what you want, you know. And then, yeah, so I was thinking of opening up a restaurant. I'm just calling it whatever. I don't you want. know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, what do you want for dinner? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's go. You know what? Let's get in the Call, car. I don't know. And then this, you have a little bakery beside it called You Choose. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a bakery too. So I'm or whatever you want. Yeah. 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 Whatever right. bar, you a want. A bar next door called yeah. whatever you want. Call whatever a bar. Yeah, bar called whatever you want. It all. And every guy will go. I want these fucking places, man. <laughs> like, this is my, this is my Whatever place. you want makes us happy. Is... Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Whatever you want makes us happy. So yeah. I, I've been quiet about it. I'm, I'm trying to, because it's one of those things, right? I can't be like, well, my baby has cancer, because she'd be like, bitch, my baby has cancer. So like, I can't Wait use that excuse. Someone's gonna one up you. Well, no, your wife. Okay, okay. Oh, you mean against the wife? <laughs> yeah. about here. Like, have you tried this one? Have you tried this one then? Um. So, what do you feel like tonight? And then whenever she says, she goes, "I was thinking the same thing." Oh yeah, that's the best answer. And in the back here, my like, I don't want that shit. I don't want that shit. But you know what? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna argue it, about it. Yeah, it's I'm, just gonna. It's gonna go. take it. It's gonna take yeah. it. You're t- telling me to roll over and just let her kick me in the nuts. Well, it's either that or argue on that. Don't, yeah, don't waste what your time. Or argue. be annoyed. So why I, might, I, I might throw poop at her. Hey, as <laughs> as she's ordering food under the Do table, it within Grubhub, 24 hours. <laughs> under the table, just have your Grubhub open. 
<laughs> and just order something else while she's ordering the food for you guys. Okay? You know, I would, but Grubhub banned me. Oh, that's right. They did ban you. That's yeah. Right. Well, there's Maybe Uber Eats. It's just really expensive. Uh, but if you have Amazon, Grubhub is free for delivery. Mm-hmm. I do have Amazon. I'm Not still banned. You still no, can't no, use it. No. <laughs> Maybe if I you weren't such look, a dick. I remember you saying that before. I need to look into that. Crazy though, crazy. But Johnny, well, you know, hopefully, uh, it all works out because I would assume it's probably better for. I mean, it's queer, kind of weird. Say better for children to get cancer, but you would assume it's still better. No, than like adults. I guess if there's a, a silver lining, like kids are resilient, and yeah. they didn't seem uh, rushed. You know, like. If they were to see a cancer in me, they'd be like, all right, prep the OR and fucking get his fat ass on the gurney type of thing. But oh, yeah. with you her, they're the like, greatest, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'd be the greatest patient yeah, of the greatest really. so Who's your next of kin? Johnny, who's your next of kin? Yeah. yeah. You're going to need to notify him in 24 hours. Like I'm saying Johnny beyond Gray's Anatomy. He has a stomach tumor. Everybody, come in. We're going to have to cut through like seven feet first. Like, holy shit. Seven feet. <laughs> seven feet. <laughs> Just a fat seven layer I mean, burrito. Just <laughs> send in, send in the private. Okay, so when Get I the was chainsaw, when I was an embalmer for a short period, I don't know. What'd if you say? This. Yeah, I was in I was oh in school God. to be a funeral director, and I embalmed bodies over a six month period. There was a guy on our table that was so large Mm -hmm. that i was like i could stab this man with a six inch knife and never touch a vital organ and i'm like i mean really that can be an advantage yeah (laughs) so like and then i'm thinking about myself and my belly i'm like you remember his shot to the gut you're never gonna get to anything that's like johnny his partner like how come you don't wear a vest Look at me, motherfucker. Do I look like I need a vest? <laughs> yeah. No, I was just wondering if you knew the, the guy's name. Because I don't think Joy Valentine's died yet. Ooh, ah. no. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> there is no vital anything in that man. <laughs> uh, she crazy, stabbed crazy. him six inches in, didn't touch it. But when she pulled it out, it started gushing gravy. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean... That's that sounds okay. So you can stab fat people. That's what you're trying to say. Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. People, In the gut we'll, anyway. Yeah. Just go to go oh, to what's funny. KFC <laughs> and order that that uh, bowl that has the chicken and the and the mashed potatoes and go around with the knife stabbing fat people. I need gravy. I need gravy. Like, well, it's funny that you mentioned that because my dad was kind of a heavier guy when he was younger. He lost weight as he got older, but he stabbed himself in the stomach. It was an accident. He was trying to I forget what he was doing, like opening up a five gallon bucket. He was doing something stupid, using a knife. And he stabbed himself in the gut, like, a, and it cuts like straight down. No damage, just cut yeah. open some fat and stitch them back up. Stitch yeah. them back up. Yeah, nothing to yeah, hit. That was it. Nothing there. Yeah. Yeah, because the there. muscle wall is all behind all that adipose tissue. Hmm. So, Johnny, there is a reason why you pack on the weight. I see. So when you're in prison and something breaks out, you get stabbed. Stabbed. Be like, <laughs> get is that all you got? Well, no, those little <laughs> tiny that it? prison shivs. Yeah. It's not doing anything. A yes, melted shampoo that. bottle. That's it. <laughs> right. <laughs> you ever tried it, motherfucker? Because you need more than that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's. I, I don't like the way this conversation has turned. <laughs> it did go sideways. Let's talk yeah. about Joey. Let's talk all right. about <laughs> Sideways. All right. All right. Fantastic. All right. We'll take a break here on Nurse Talking a Podcast. We'll be right back after this. Taco Tuesdays with Nutso and Chuck the Rap Star. Every Tuesday on the Nerds Review Network. Grab a taco, take a seat, pop a burrito. It's going to get deep. Subscribe and turn on your notifications. And don't forget to hit that like button. Welcome back to Nerds Talking, the podcast. Remember to rate, subscribe, review, download, turn on your notifications every Friday. New episodes of Nerds Talking, the podcast. Also, coming soon, possibly next week, Nerds Media Network. I know you guys are like, what's Nerds Media Network? It's where we're going to take all our shows and put them onto one podcast channel. And you can get Taco Tuesday, Fat Guy Loves Cake, and Nerds Talking. And throughout the week, you'll have content filled 
So you can listen to all these shows all week if you'd like. And you can still find them on their separate channels. It's Nerds Media Network. We'll have more about it coming up. So, And we're hoping to add other shows to the lineup as well. Oh, we'll have Comic Book Wednesday on there and so forth. There'll be more. It's just that so you can get Monday through Friday content, basically. That's the idea. So and we're hoping for a Saturday or Sunday content as well. Who the hell's gonna do, who's going to do we're Saturday and Sunday? Don't you worry about that. Working oh, so, so you know about Saturday and Sunday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Better be yeah, good because yeah. I approve all things. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Johnny, you have a show that I don't know about? No? The cooking show. It's, yeah. it's too bad it's visual. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The Salt Bay of Podcasts. This motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, and uh, we're going to jump into the movie schedule for 2023. You guys will just tell me if you're going to see it or not, if it interests you or not, as we go around the list here. We're going to start off with this coming, uh, I think it's coming Friday. I think it already came out. It's called Megan. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yep. Yeah, no, it comes out this this Friday. It's or coming like, out today. Come out today. It's like Chucky. Uh, oh AI. yeah, that stupid doll. Yes, yes, yes. The robotic AI doll. No, no. yeah. So I don't think anyone's gonna see it. <laughs> no. Nope. All right. Uh, Ant Man: Quantum Mania, February seventeenth. Johnny. Yes. Yes. Oh, sorry. Laura. Not in theaters, but I'll watch it. Yeah, I'll see it. Carlos, I know he'll see it. Yep. yep. February twenty fourth, probably the most anticipated movie of the year: Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear, anyone? Cocaine Bear. Not in theaters. No. That's a no. No I, all around. No idea. No. <laughs> March Based 3rd. on a true story, yeah. <laughs> but here's the story. Let me tell you the story. Oh, shit. DEA agent turns drug dealer, dropped dropped his load out of his plane before he got caught. A bear ate the cocaine, found several months later dead. That's the story. Does That's this it. seem like a movie? No, yeah, but, but, the, the dude, but the dude, the DEA people. agent guy, he actually jumped out of the plane that he dropped the load. And his chute didn't open. He landed in somebody's driveway. So the bear is really nothing to do with the story, but they made a whole movie of this. And the trailer is actually more than what the story really is. So. Well, of course. You see so a no. premise. Just well, the, premise. the uh, what do you call it? Silence of the Lambs, uh, Psycho, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre are all based on the same guy. Yeah, Ed Gein. Yeah. Ed, whatever his name is in Gain. Texas. Ed Gein. Ed Gein. Ed Gein. Ed Gein. Ed Gein. Yeah. So yeah. isn't that... Three completely different movies. Garth Brooks, Alter Ego. No, that was Chris Gaines. Oh, Chris. And that was a horror show, too. (laughs) March 3rd, Creed 3. Anybody want to see Creed 3? No. I'm in. Even though Rocky Rocky won't be in it, I'm still going to watch it. All right. I like the story. All right. I've seen it. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan playing his his heart out as an angry man. Okay. Next on the list, March 10th, Scream. Nope. Nope. Man, did anybody see the last one? It was so bad. Oof. Yeah, it was dumb. Oh, so bad, right? Uh, March 17th, Shazam 2. Yes. You got a yes? Yeah. Not in got, theaters, yeah. but I'll watch it. All right. How about March 24th, John Wick 4? Yes. No. Of course, if you're a man, you're going to watch John Wick. <laughs> right? March 31st, Dungeons and Dragons. No. More or less um, based on the 80s cartoon, which no. was no, phenomenal. That's theater worthy. Oh, it looks good. You it does look game? good, but I don't know. Yeah, I remember the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah. impossible to beat. So. No, you couldn't beat the game. April 1st, the movie I will rush to the theater to see, Evil Dead Rise. Really? Is uh, What's his face going to be in there? No, no, he's not it. it looks he's amazing, though. It is looks it Raimi? Like... Is Raimi behind is the camera? Sam... I don't think he's directing. I think he's producing. But it looks freaking Maybe. Good. Probably not. Probably Maybe. Not. April 7th, we're all going to see this or we're all dumb. Super Mario Brothers, the movie. No. What? Yes. Good heavens. Yes. It looks fantastic. Only because my kid wants to see it. So I'll take oh. it. Johnny, Mario mm-hmm. Brothers. I mean. April 7th. Okay. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. May 5th, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. He just three. didn't want to be called dumb. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think everyone here will see Guardians of the Galaxy, which is. Yes. yes. What Dave Batista said is his last Marvel appearance. So clearly he's the one that dies in the preview. <laughs> I'm like, he's gonna give it away. May 19th, Johnny's movie he's been waiting for. Fast 10. 
Fast no. and Furious. No. No, no, all around, I think. Okay. We're going to 20- do a review on it. I mean, oh, we definitely are. May 26th. 20- <laughs> <laughs> May- Not this year, but we'll do it. <laughs> May 26th, The Little Mermaid live action. No. I don't watch any of the Disney live actions. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to see that one. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. June 2nd, I know at least two of us are going to run to the theater for this. Spider Man Enter the Spider Verse Part 2. Yes. Oh. Is this the, the cartoon one? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Then no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the buildup was good. <laughs> Is this a <laughs> critically acclaimed one? <laughs> oh, this sounds phenomenal. No. Uh, eh. uh, June 9th, Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Another Transformers yes. movie. I'll yeah. see that one. Yeah. Too. No, Laura's like, oh, no, no. June 16th, probably a huge movie coming out The Flash. Yes. No. I will see it. Yeah. I think I'll see it. But do you think if it does well, then all is forgiven with the the Flash guy? Uh, I guess they're saying the word on the street is that, uh, yeah, they're keeping him. Yeah. That's the rumor. (laughs) But they haven't said, you know what? Currently, they've only cut Superman and Wonder Woman. They still haven't mentioned Affleck or Actually, the director came out yesterday and said, it's an all new Justice League in the movie. And I'm like, what? He goes, you can see the Justice League, but it's Quit an all trying new to remake Justice your League. shitty universe. Listen, you I don't remake it. I'm, what are you talking about? Whoa, 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 Calm down. Whoa. You see the Almost Snyder cut? Like she oh, just gave so birth good. a couple <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> uh, June 23rd, Pixar's latest, Elemental. Everybody's like, I haven't what? seen anything on it. No. Oh, okay. No. Well, it's a wait. June 30th, Geriatric Jones, Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Not in theaters. I don't think I'm gonna no. see the theaters either. Dream it uh, for free. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, July 14th, we have Mission Impossible. Finally, yes, yes. yeah. You right? How come that's not geriatric possible? Nope, that guy's uh-uh. 60 years that old, dude, man. That dude, yeah, uh-huh. but he is a he's got the blood of you know like six-year-olds a, jumping out of planes and motorcycles off of cliffs and shit july 21st ugh, this movie's gonna be horrible barbie the movie no yeah no, no, no. i'll stream Ju- it i'll watch it once you rip it from the internet yeah. july 21st oppenheimer oppenheimer yes. yeah i want to oh, see same that day as barbie oh who do you think's gonna win that weekend <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> a week later marvel releases the marvels Yes. The sequel to Captain Marvel. Maybe. Okay. Yes. August 4th, we got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mutant Mayhem. Is all... Megan Fox in this one? No, no. It's, it's animated. An all it's animated, animated movie in the style of the Spider-Verse movies. Oh, okay. Well, it would be pretty cool. might be pretty Possibly. cool. Possibly. August 18th, Blue Beetle. Yes. I've never heard of Blue Beetle. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It's a DC, DC movie, character. DC Comics. Probably they're, not. Just, they're trying to reboot. Um, October 6th, Craven, which is a Spider Man movie. No, no, because it's probably going to be as good as Morbius. Oh, that was bad. Is it an uh, animated one? No, it's no. live action starring Aaron Taylor Johnson. That's crazy. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Mm-hmm. Who's is rumored? that the hot guy from Bullet Train? It yes. is the hot guy from Bullet Train that who's just rumored the, to be in talks to be 007. The new 007. I just read that and I'm like, yeah. I'm on board with that, which I so think maybe. that's a good choice because he's young and. Yeah, he's he he's English. And right? the way he and mm-hmm. the way he looked and pulled it off on Bullet British. Train. Yeah, yeah. I can oh, see that. he sold it in Bullet Train. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. A November third, I do want to see this part two to Dune. So the Dune. only no, movie that Hugh will see on opening weekend ever. Yeah, December fifteenth, the prequel to Willy Wonka called Wonka. No, no, no. Kind of, I just want to see a preview first before I. December twentieth. The next Ghostbusters movie. There's no title. It's just the new <laughs> Ghostbusters movie. Is it the I mean, sequel to Afterlife? The sequel to Afterlife. Yes. I mean, Maybe. I think we're I'll done watch with it. Ghostbusters, right? I mean, I mean, what Stranger can, Things. Uh, like we're done. <laughs> yeah, we're done with Ghostbusters, right? And of course, on Christmas, December 25th, Aquaman two. No, that's a no. I, I might see it me. around that time, but not. I'm not gonna go on Christmas Day. Oh, I'm going on Christmas. That's my gift. No, I'm so. going to Las Vegas. <laughs> mm. It's a gift. They have to movie theaters of. in Vegas too. This or Christmas, when your flight gets uh, canceled. yeah, this <laughs> Christmas, uh, I did see Avatar too, and it's amazing. Is it? it? Goddamn Ghost amazing. Story. Worth it. Ghost worth the three hours. Oh, worth the three hours, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, the action in that movie is tremendous. The effects are ridiculous. The 
the whole water people it's so cool it's so it's, it's such a, just like you walk out going holy shit that was even better than the first one they're the over, first one they're like a 1.5 billion right now i know he needs two billion to break even he said so the movie cost 250 million dollars to make but he said all the marketing it almost cost a billion dollars and for a movie to make money you typically have to double that whole thing so he said he so Cameron said we need to make two billion dollars and it's on its way it's but I, its I think way. this one's gonna be legit it's not gonna be like uh like worth. adding the stats like when you forced to put the first one out to beat Avengers right or uh when you yeah. buy like a, a full theater the toys. Full of tickets and stuff yeah you buy it like yeah you're giving out free tickets for a month at one theater you just keep padding those stats yeah, yeah. I, I think the, these numbers will be legit I'm telling you, it's good. It's it's a good movie. You guys should definitely check it out. Um, uh, I didn't watch it in IMAX, but when you watch it, you can tell the scenes they shot in IMAX 3D because the frame rate changes significantly on the screen. Hmm. And it looks kind of like uh, it goes from like, because I think movie frame rates are 24. And when IMAX, they shoot up to either 48 or 60 or something like that. It's just, a, yeah, it has a whole different, but it's, it's, man, it's, it's good. It's good. The story is not about the adults. It's about the kids. So, so is, is there still unobtainium? No, no, it's not about that. The plot basically is it's 15 years or not 15, maybe like 15, 12 to 15 years ahead. They don't really tell you the timeline. You just base it on the kids age and uh, they have four kids now. And the story is about the four kids. Like you, Jake and Zaldana's character are in the movie for like 30% of the movie. So it's about the kids. But the story is basically the humans came back to Pandora. And not just to get resources. This time they're going to take over the planet. And mm. they build a whole city. Mm. They're like, fuck that. We're going to build a city. They have these robots that can build buildings in six weeks. They already looks like a metropolis and shit after like being there for like two months. And the part that they're taking over. And like, and the number one concern is kill Jake Sully. Kill that mother sucker right now. Like everybody just go that? kill him because he leads the rebellion. Like he's, you know, he's the Luke Skywalker. Kill Luke Skywalker <clears throat> and we'll, we'll take down the rest. And the bad guy, the only the only bad part about this movie <clears throat> is the lead bad guy. The same dude. Is the general again. Yeah. Didn't he die or some shit? Yeah. So what it is, is remember, remember the guy who was in charge of that company? Uh, What's that actor's name? Risby? Mike? What's his name? Riz. Sure. Uh, he doesn't. You guys know what I'm talking about. Eleanor right? Rigsby. Yeah, Eleanor Rigsby. Uh, what the, what the <laughs> hell? It's a really good actor. What the hell's his name? I forgot. Anyway, long story short, he basically took everybody's conscience and, and memories and everything and put it on his miraculous Cloned little him. zip drives and then put them, sent them back to Earth and said, Look, while you're here, you're being cloned actually on Earth as an avatar. Just in case anything happens to you. We're gonna upload that shit to your avatar, and you're gonna come back here so you can remember everything you, everything about this planet, and you're gonna kill him again or try to go after him. So they bring him back as avatars, and they're going after uh, Sully. Kind of dumb. So they basically go on the run on the lamb. So most of the movie they're in the water, water part of the world, mm -hmm. and they're adapting mm -hmm. to those people. Those people look different. They have fins for arms. They have fins for tails. They're not the same like Navi. They're different. And long story short, they just like an hour and a half of them adapting to that world. And then they get attacked, and then the fish people have to fight with them, and shit goes down. There's a sad part of the movie. I'm not gonna ruin it. And then um, shit goes really down. I mean, it goes gets totally fucked up. But the action and adventure is awesome for the last like 45 minutes. It's, like, it's a three shit. hour movie, but your review is four hours. I don't quite understand that. <laughs> it's because I had more to the movie. Anyway, so there you go. So it's good though. It's really good. Check out Avatar. Check that shit out. But now we're gonna talk about. <coughs> Laura's favorite movie that she's seen recently, uh, White Noise on Netflix, starring Adam Driver and Don Cheadle. It's on Netflix. It's supposed to be a dark comedy, which I don't understand that. Um, right, the comedy part. Yeah, yeah, the comedy part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. The the so here's the plot. And uh, <laughs> I mean. I guess it's based on a really popular book that they've tried to adapt it in the past and nobody could adapt it because it's so like outlandish. They didn't do it this time either. <laughs> I heard it described in one article as an unfilmable adaptation. That's what, yeah, that's what it turns out not correct. It is filmable. It is filmable. But it is also unfilmable. unwatchable. <laughs> 
I mean, it was so awkward. This damn movie it was so stupid. stupid. Just his profession too was so awkward. He's like, a college professor who his Nazi. focus is Nazi. No Hitler. 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 Hitler studies. Hitler studies. Hitler studies. And, and, and then, then like, like Don Cheadle's like, I want to like do that too, but with Elvis. with Elvis. So can you come in and that whole like debate in there? <laughs> what oh. was happening? What I oh my god. Okay. Well, First of all, who recommended uh, this piece of shit? Carlos. Nope. Good nope. one, Laura. It was me, but that was a good one. <laughs> nope. Was it? It yeah. was not me. We still hate you, Carlos. I have yet to recommend a <laughs> shitty movie, but thank you, Laura. I appreciate it. I like how Carlos says, I don't recommend shitty movies. He doesn't recommend any movie, so he's winning all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a preview for this on, on Netflix, and I was like, oh, this looks pretty good, the preview. And then I watched it, and I was like, oh, what did I do to everyone? What did yeah. I do? During I the group text. an apology in the mail. Yeah. So During the group text, Laura was like, I'm seven minutes in. And she quit. And she minute quit. minute eight. <laughs> No, Turn I didn't quit it. Okay, true story. I did not quit at seven minutes. I said, I'm seven minutes in. If nothing interesting happens in the next 10 minutes, I am turning it off. And it turns out I did not turn it off, but friends came over and I just let it play in the background. And I occasionally like glance in a direction. I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like back. But the first 17 minutes, I was just like, what is happening? You and did not miss anything. I know I didn't because like so in preparation for this conversation, I looked up some stuff about it and I was reading, you know, some articles and I immediately found out why I found it completely unwatchable is that the book is whole, this whole postmodern uh, style of writing in terms uh, like aligned with uh catch 22 and slaughterhouse five and all that kind of stuff i fucking hate that shit i hate postmodern art is such cynicism and nonsense and nothing just nothing at the core of it and i can't fucking stand it and I'm Wait, are you trying like, to say nothing happened in the movie did you not see there was some type of outbreak no oh yeah like okay, a pandemic fine, type like, of outbreak there people like are not real minutes? people people are not real people in in this like they're caricatures of people they're all symbols of something and i'm just like i can't watch this shit i mean you're if right you're gonna, though. honestly 100 yeah, percent correct if yeah. you're gonna give me a story give me a story that connects to the human condition don't give me a caricature of everything and everyone on the planet i don't want to watch it it's stupid hmm. it's cynical it's dumb i'm over it is there so, anything in the movie that anyone liked? The um, German nun. Okay. The German nun was okay, I guess. But <laughs> that's, Well, I was trying to find something likable, and that's the only thing I could I did like Don Cheadle's character because I was like, are you a dumb or something? Like, you love this Adam Driver, this character, like a ton, but you seem so... like. He seemed so obsessed with him, like he was so great. But I thought I thought Don Cheadle was was acting his ass off. I was like, oh, well, he's doing a good job there, though. Um, but Adam Driver did a great job acting. It's just <laughs> that dad is the worst. <laughs> like, I feel like in the the scenes with multiple people, like the around the dinner table, or maybe like in the staff dining area, they basically like took ten scripts. Oh, fucking read it all at once and I everyone's know. just fucking jibber jabbering and it's like oh. I, I hated every single person and then i felt bad for the kids because there's got to especially at that time there's there had to have been like a few households with pretentious like snobby uppity people like that their kids are gonna just all be fucked up like don't be surprised if every single one of them is on some form of meth but you have to remember too that in that whole story, those are mixed. It's a mixed family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you and you can't apply like any. Oh, I can apply a lot of logic to this because it's a fantastic. No, movie. there is no <laughs> because it's, it's completely unreal. It's like surrealism. Like at first, I was watching. I'm like, are they trying to make fun of academics? Like that was my first like thing. I'm like, are, is this a satire to the academic personality? And then. Like very quickly, I'm like, oh no, this is just a. It's not a satire. It's just literally nothing. He was wearing a cape. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, 
What? He's a superhero. What? Yeah, he's, he's a, it was weird. You know, the movie was like you said. They they try to put a uh a, a, like a certain like uh like a message slash tone to every character. This character is like this, so you know that you know. And this character is only like this. There's no other way. It's just one way only. Even the kids, like you know, the son that was introvert, but he was, you know, all of a sudden he knew, he knew everything. He was super smart, you know. And the daughter was all anxiety ridden, and you know, the mom was. How would you explain the mom? She was, um, I don't know, Dylar. That's Dylar. Yeah, Dylar. Yeah. Yeah, Dylar. <laughs> Dylar. <laughs> Dylon, the best rapper. Dylon, yeah. Dylon, 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 and Dylon. The moment, the moment I tuned out was after the the you know explosion or whatever, and then they're sitting there being like, "It's a feathery plume." No, it's a black billowy cloud. And this like went back and forth for five minutes, oh, yeah, and I'm like, "Stupid, I'm done. I this is I have limited time, and I am done." Well, that's the problem with the movie in general. It was nonsense dialogue. Yeah. That was like filler. You're yeah. like, yeah. This is, is this movie, whole movie filler? Like, here's yes. the plot. Here's the plot point. <clears throat> Let's do 20 minutes of filler to the next plot point. Because in reality, it, that 20 minutes led to nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. The only thing the movie really led to was the end when he found out the wife with the drugs. Like, that's the only thing you made you go, oh, okay, something actual of substance in the movie. And then, even then, you didn't care. And then they're all dancing. You know, the worst part is about oh, this. Oh, yeah, in the grocery store. Oh, my God. People that are hearing this right now, they're so confused. <laughs> they're like, yeah. And that's what exactly you... how we felt during the <laughs> yeah. whole goddamn That's how you movie. feel watching this movie. <laughs> like, oh. It was... Carlos apologized to the audience. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was some, some kind you, of You, Lafayette. I need a handwritten apology. <laughs> okay. Expect one from Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> So let's rate the movie. Uh, mm. White Noise on Netflix, um, starring Adam Driver, Don Cheadle, really the only two main actors you'll know. Uh, Johnny, what's your score? One through five. One through five. I'm going to say it's worse than cancer. So fuck White Noise. <laughs> Don't watch that shit. Wow. Well, lift your spirits. Uh, Laura? Zero out of five. Zero out of five. Wow, we got a zero. <laughs> Carlos? So we got two zeros, basically. Carlos? You had a zero for me too. All right, I'll give it a three. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's, it's pretty, I mean, pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And the, you know what the worst part is too is Netflix does this all the time. Like here's a here's what we think is our big like you know theater movie. Enjoy, and you're like oh, another letdown. All can you sue them? Because now you can sue film companies for misleading you in trailers. Is it is it that part? I thought it was something else. I thought it was suing them. You're right though. There's some type of lawsuit now where you can sue movie. Is it movie companies or is it? Yeah, it's because of that movie yesterday. I guess in the previews. I never saw the previews, but in the previews, Anna de Armas is in the previews, but she's not in the movie. They cut her out. The movie with the Beatles. Mm hmm. Yeah, she yeah. was not in that movie. She, she was not in that no. movie. But apparently, she was in the trailers, and so somebody sued the film company for misleading them. And they're thinking that she was in it. Apparently, they went to go see it because they thought she was in it. And they, you know, so what they get? Is, like twelve dollars? Like a movie voucher? <laughs> like well, yeah. twelve dollars? <laughs> seriously? Free popcorn? popcorn. <laughs> if I was the judge, that's what I would do. Like, how much did you pay for to see the movie? Pay twelve dollars? Uh, it's thirteen. I'll give you thirteen. Get out of here. <laughs> like, <laughs> One dollar punitive damages. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's twenty for parking. Did this so. ruin your life? Like she wasn't there. Like, <laughs> like so people are so stupid. Then I could see it happening. All right. Well, there you go. Um, we have another Netflix show to talk about, but Johnny didn't see it. But Johnny, it's okay. You don't know. Uh, it's called uh, Inside Man, starring Stanley Tucci and Doctor Who. David Tennant. David Tennant. There you go. David Tennant. And um, basically, it's about a man in jail. He's the inside man that you go and get. He like solves crimes, and you go and death row detective. Death row like detective. Sherlock. Yeah, you can go in and he'll solve shit for you. And uh, he murdered his wife. He cut her up and took her head off. Took her head off, and he's in jail for murder. He's I'm hoping, you know why? I'm hoping that she couldn't two. decide what she wanted for dinner. That's, That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> this is what That's happens. Right. Well, Lord, I'd like get your shit together, man. I love his theory though. <laughs> he said 
everyone is a murderer just depends on the or like the time and day or something like that or if you're having a bad day and the right person then everyone's a murderer i'm like yeah i didn't like that that makes sense that was dumb i thought that was so stupid i i I liked it everyone's a murderer i mean no i get i get the point i get the point but it's like come on but it sounds cool it does sound cool you're 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 Rel- it's all relative, right? Like if you were put in that same situation, you really don't know what you. We're all do. animals. Oh, I would just make. Yeah. I would just sound cool because I was in jail. And then he says something about as if you really, if you really don't want to experience that, don't come home early. Yes. Like, so yeah, he yeah. makes me think that his wife. No, he said, if you really love that. someone, don't come home early. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That yeah. so it makes me think that his wife cheated on him. Look at I Johnny just... looking off into the distance. Is that why I come home? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, no, it was good. I mean, it was uh, it, basically it's it's funny because you think it's going to be about him when the show starts and, and he's going to sit down and tell his story. But no, it's not at zero like at all. It's not about him at all. It's about a whole nother family in like England or or some shit about the vicar. Who's what the hell is a vicar? The sexy priest. vicar. Christian yeah, priest. Yeah, he is. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's a Christian priest. Okay, that's why. Okay. Yeah. I was like, he can't be married. With and then I, he's like, it's okay. So anyway. Of, Church of England, right? Yeah. And so he basically, um, long story short, he has a apprentice, I guess you would say. Uh, the apprentice is, is um, gives him oh, a, a pedo. He's a pedo. Yeah, he gives him a, a UBS. A UBS. USB a UBS. stick. He gives him a, <laughs> he gives him a he UBS. Gives him a, I've never heard of that disease. Like. It's a ultra boner syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> So it gives, gives, him a, him a, gives him a gives him a gives him a USB <laughs> stick to the vicar and just tells him to hide it for him because if his mom finds out he's gonna get in trouble. So he takes it with him and he says, oh, "Don't worry about it. I'll hide it for you." He takes it home and his son's tutor uh, needs a USB stick for something. I forgot what it was, and she pops into the computer and sees a bunch of uh, really uh, not so savory porno pictures of children, and the vicar. Says, oh, oh, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he want to get his son in trouble because he thinks it's his son's, and shit hits the fan from there. And there you go. That's your setup, uh, Laura. What'd you think of Inside Man on Netflix? I fucking loved it. Um, I was immediately hooked, and also I'm super impressed that Netflix, and I assume other streaming services because I don't watch a ton of other like independent content. Netflix is generally my go-to for independent content unless somebody really recommends it to me. But they have really perfected the art of stringing you along these limited series. They are so good at it because they put so much intrigue and like, I gotta know into it that you can't not keep watching and so i mean the acting was fantastic i love david Tennant. i love stanley tucci and the tone was great and i feel like i just couldn't wait to find out what the fuck was gonna happen there was that whole episode where like it was kind of all in the balance because i'm not gonna spoil it but the two of them are in the basement uh and he doesn't know that one of them was in the basement and you're like what? and it was like i have me on the edge of my seat and um i'm really excited if they do a second season which they kind of teased at in the oh end. they will i think these are just gonna yeah. be four four episodes per series that's all and it is i'm so in hundo percent yeah 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 it. it's like that show that is on the usa network it's uh jessica beale produces uh, oh is it the sinner the sinner where it's they're one-off stories with the same detective or whatever yeah but they just bring it back as you know. Here's the next limited series of this story, and so on. And I think that's what's going to happen here. The inside man will always be him. Somebody going to him solve this murder. Okay, well, let me look at the picture. You see yeah. that door? Why is it open? Where's this brick at? Who wears these type of shoes? <laughs> and da, 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 da. Very Sherlockian. Yeah, yeah, very Sherlockian. Impossible to find out, but yeah, yeah, he manages. Yeah. So, Carlos, what was your take on Inside Man on Netflix? Well, Laura was right. Um, I she recommended it, and I was I decided to 
turn it on uh, at like nine, like nine o'clock, whatever. I started watching it. And I'm like, I'll just do one episode, you know, whatever. I just won. No, I watched the whole goddamn thing. Four hours. I didn't go to bed till like one or one thirty in the morning. Well, they're only like thirty-five minutes each or something, or forty. They're an hour each. each. Let's close so enough. You suck at math. Remember, I saw Avatar. Okay. And yeah, but man, that sucked me in. I mean, those two characters are so funny. The uh, Tucci and um, his recorder. They got the photographic memory. Yeah, that was so funny. And then uh, the whole tale. I was actually more interested in the Stanley Tucci character, but then it was interesting how. It all just went full circle. I was wrapped around right to the beginning. I'm like, oh man, this is this is well done. This is really well done, and the writing was so clever and funny. So I really recommend the Inside Man. And like I said, it's got to be a second season because there was something about where he buried his wife's head and why he took it off. And I want to know why. I need to know why. So and and the, even the warden, even the, the guy playing the warden, I like that guy. And what he did to get his deal, you know, to suspend his his death sentence, man, that was clever. That was pretty clever. And I don't think I gave away too much. Just watch it. It's only four episodes. It's very good. You didn't give away anything. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, kind of it, it was kind of a comedy to me. Just the way I, everything. There were definitely some laugh out loud moments. Well, no, just how everything kind of fell into place, you know. Uh, like the worst thing kept happening no matter what he tried to fix the vicar no matter what he was trying to correct the worst oh, thing yeah, just yeah, kept yeah. happening to him well he it kept happening to him to him because he kept doing it to himself i know so, i know yeah. he's like, got he, this yeah. like jesus complex where he's like sacrificing himself he's an everybody. idiot he is an, an idiot, idiot. He is totally an idiot because he did the wrong thing at every opportunity. Yeah, but every every time, like as you watch it, you kind of understand his character and his deep flaws, and that's what it is. He's trying to sacrifice himself, literally like Jesus, for everybody. And yeah, oh, it was so just, well, the, the thought that his wife decided to just go in on it. I'm like, what are you doing? You should make the move. You should do something about oh, that know, thing, too. Is. I'll be honest. I wanted the reporter to get hit by the bus or whatever the hell that was. The journalist. She annoyed the shit out of me, too. So, um, but yeah. But so the very yeah. very first episode, though, it had me thinking all the way to the end. What the hell does two hundred fifty three dollars and fifty five cents mean? Two hundred fifty three and fifty five. And then all I can think of before he said what it was, which I thought was funny as well. Is there was take the rapist for five (laughs) hundred (laughs) dollars. Was there was thirty year gap between uh, when this senator committed this assault till now, and there was three victims. So I kept thinking, okay, he did it when they were twenty five. There's three victims, and now they're fifty five. And it turns out it wasn't like that at all. So it just had me guessing the whole episode. And now, could you imagine? It was even funnier. It was even funnier. If when it, you were the one trying to get answers out of him. What does it mean? You got home. Oh, I'm going to put it together. And then you get it wrong the whole time. Nothing would have happened for you. Nothing would have figured nothing out. You'd, you'd be stuck. So who am I? Am I the detective? Or am I the yeah, recorder? you're the detective. You're the person trying to get answers. So um, you're an idiot. That's what you are. You're an idiot. <laughs> That's it. I win. Is this um, hypothetical or no, no, it's real deal. Real deal. <laughs> I mean, you look closest to Stanley Tucci, Johnny. Just call him an idiot. <laughs> so there you go. Inside Men on Netflix. What are what are your ratings? Carlos, what is your rating for Inside Men? For the series, I'll give it a five. Wow. wow. What? Five out of five. Like wow. really, there's Two nothing fives. I would change. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's that's high. I give it a three. Let's end this podcast. That was, I high. Go watch it now. that was high because I was it was um, I've seen this before. It's too predictable. I've seen this like well, okay, this is what's how gonna happen. Is it predictable? Because it's you've seen predictable. these shows. It's only predictable you've... because it lets it be predictable. Like at the train station, when all of a sudden he says the orchestra's coming out, I'm like, ah oh, yes, of oh, course. No, 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 nothing about the orchestra that part. wears That's tuxedos. I'm talking about the because family. it lets it be family. predictable. Not that that was the best part, I thought, when he was figuring out that about Norm McDonald's character. That was the best part, I thought, you know, so. um, But but the other part, the whole family thing, everything was predictable about it. I was like, 
like Laura said, he was giving, he was basically falling into every trap himself. I'm like, this guy's such an idiot. Like, this this like basically there was he's no gonna, way you were gonna know how I knew it, it all. Ended. I knew it all. No should, way. You know what? They should film me watching it going the inside inside man. <laughs> so uh, well, the reason I gave it a three. five it okay. is because it keeps you intrigued every episode and it sucked me in to watch the whole thing. I binged the whole thing. I didn't stop. I kept I just kept going. Yeah, it didn't really That's how do good that, it was. Johnny, yeah. don't start it tonight. You're not gonna stop. You'll stop Johnny. halfway through. Give me a call and be like, you're right, bro. And I'll be like, yep, well, let's, let's watch White Noise together again. <laughs> <laughs> Inside Men on Netflix, the Ernst Stanley Touch It. Check it out. It's available now. And Anything Lord, else? Did you have a chance to watch Treason or Treason. Treason. Treason? I started it and it. Oh, Treason. I finished that one. It yeah. didn't grab me, but I'm not going to blame it. I was in a bad headspace when I started. Like, I was just, like, not into it. I could somebody see asked you what you how it was good. <laughs> but what? Did somebody ask you what you wanted for dinner? <laughs> You're like, I can't watch no. this right now. <laughs> no, I had a screaming, angry baby. Ah, like, I, was always stre- angry. I was stressed out about family stuff, and I just couldn't concentrate, like, on what was going on. And it was definitely one where you had to concentrate like you didn't they didn't lay things oh, out for you, which i appreciate that's right but. that show starred daredevil charlie cox yeah and i had to get used to him not i could not watch it at the camera because, because i thought he was blind the whole time <laughs> <laughs> there were some, there were some <laughs> there were some parts in it where he's kind of looking through people and kind of looking yeah. around like yeah. dude you're not blind anymore chill out yeah, yeah. that part but, threw yeah. me off it was good, but it wasn't like uh, it wasn't great. It was good. Though. You know what I appreciated about Treason is the small things. There's no intro. I don't have to hit the skip intro button. There's no intro. There's Wait an second. opening that's, scene. That's, that's, that, you took that. you took that yeah, away from the show. Right? So you didn't like the show. You just like the fact there was no. No, I love the show. I I love the show. It was just and really user friendly. Thing. That's right. It, it was, was an opening friendly. scene, and then it says Treason, and it keeps going. Carlos' favorite it. show would be if there was just the show starts with a recap, credits. Then no, next skip episode, recaps, recap. Man. I don't skip recaps. It's I like lost. Recaps it's just like lost. Ooh. Oh man. Ooh. I mean, it was it was okay. It was one of those again where, you know, I, th- I think it's hard to be original with those oh, type of shit. How do you even live anymore? You're like, how's my day? You wake I up with Lotus. Morning, going, man, this day's gonna be my life's complete. I don't even know why I even bother. Wait, they say White Lotus. I haven't seen White Lotus season two yet. No, White Noise though. Mm. White Lotus. I just I was. That's yeah, like, they call too. you. Hey man, how come you're not at work? Ah, it's predictable. I know. It's yeah, it is. I, actually, I knew it was going to happen today. Just you know what? Just stay home. <laughs> that's actually true too. <laughs> that's actually true too. <laughs> All right, shit, we'll take a, a shit break. in the car again. So. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we'll take a break here on Nurse Talking to Podcast. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> A new podcast is coming to the Nerve Reviews Network. Nutso and Chuck on Taco Tuesday's podcast. They're going to talk about tacos, ingredients, what makes the food so soulful. Ah, who am I kidding? It's going to be a show about entertainment, laughter, puns, and jokes. So tune into the Nerve Review Network to get your taste of some filling deliciously tacos prepared for you by Nutso and Chuck. Taco Tuesdays, baby. Nutso and Chuck are now responsible for refunds. Therefore, the lack of refunds for the taste or tasteless product that you have consumed. Please hit like and subscribe everywhere you listen to podcast music, Spotify or Apple Music. Listen to us on the Thank you. All right, welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Johnny, Carlos, and I'm Lafayette. Laura has vacated the building. There's babies to attend to, so she went to go see what they're up to. Screaming, yelling, kicking, pooping, and everything else they do. Goo goo gaga people. All right. Well, um, did you guys know that um you must drink more water to stay alive longer? Did you know that? Recent what? study says that eighty percent that of what you intake in fluids should be water if you want to have a longer life. If you drink less than sixty percent of water a day for your fluid intake, you will live a shorter life. You are more likely to get cancer and so on and so forth. But if you drink 80% water, you have a longer life. 80% of what, though? How much? Let's so say I have a bottle of water. Yes. I drink 60% of it, and the rest of it, eh, soda. 60% of a bottle. 
No, what if I drink 40% every like, it's, it's, okay. it's your daily that's intake. It's your daily intake. Let's say for a day, day you drink a, uh, I don't know, let's say you drink a gallon of fluids a day. They said 80% of that should be water. That's what they're, that's what they're saying. You should drink uh, how many 80%. years is this adding? And what kind of quality is it? Oh, another these, thing. These too. are all, all questions that I the want other, to know about. The other part of the test said, <laughs> if you feel, whenever you feel hungry, your body's actually dehydrated. You're better off drinking water than grabbing something to eat. Because your body's not saying it needs food. It's saying it's dehydrated. Because you haven't been drinking enough water. And that's why you're actually hungry. I can so you see should, that. You should intake water see. first before trying to eat anything because your hunger will go away. I've also heard that if you're thirsty, you're already technically dehydrated. So, yeah, yes, I can thanks. see that. I, I can, can see, see common that. sense. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Johnny. Yes. I read the same article and then <laughs> Good job with that one. Whatever. Yes. Good job with you. Oh, if you eat better and drink uh, water, you're going to live longer. I'm like, yep. oh, thanks, Sensei. I'm trying to help people. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to help. You're over here just spouting stupid shit. Okay. Actually, it wasn't stupid, but it was common. So, yeah, it wasn't really stupid. It, it was accurate. It was, it was accurate. Yeah, it was accurately stupid. <laughs> so, good job, you. Good job. Good job indeed. For superhero news, as we tap into movies, uh, the DC movie The Flash will actually have a new Justice League in it. So you remember no Gal Gadot, no Aquaman, no Superman that you've seen. For some reason, we're going to see an all new Justice League, all new cast of. People. Does that mean they've already been cast? It sounds like it's already been shot because it comes out in June. I would assume, but I'm actually thinking it's probably going to be, this is my take, it's going to be an alternate Justice League that we haven't seen before that isn't going to actually carry on to anything else because Flash jumps through a bunch of different you know, universes or some shit. So it's probably going to be something to that effect. Oh, that's silly. I wonder about the direction with this, right? Because Gal Gadot plays a pretty good Wonder Woman. Yes. Um, Aquaman is good in his role. Why not just change the story and keep the actors? Like, why why do a whole new reboot, whole new everything? Like, why not just change the scripts around? Like, why? So, I guess James Gunn's gonna re- unleash his plan to the public sometime this month, supposedly. And uh, but the rumor that came out was that he's not gonna change everything. He's gonna keep some things intact. Except uh, like Black the Adam. Batman using the Flash. Yeah, well, where's the Rock going to be in this universe? He's not. He's completely he's out. Not. He's completely out. The Ooh. rumor is he's also <laughs> negotiating with Disney to be in a Marvel movie. Uh... Yeah, yeah. And he said that he would like to play. Yeah, if you guys can guess, Black Adam. <laughs> no, what if Black, Black Adam, Adam came over to the Marvel? <laughs> How about Black Steve? <laughs> <laughs> He wants to be Professor X. I think he should be the new uh, Bautista. He, he character. did say who he wants. He just play Drax. Just be yeah. Drax. He actually would like one of mine playing um, uh, Cage. What's his name? Luke uh, Cage. Luke Cage. Yeah, Luke Cage. Power Man. A black Man. Yep. Yeah, a black man. Pretty much. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, he is half black. So um, that's just as bad as when he played Roadblock in GI Joe. Ah, another black man. <laughs> that should have been Terry Crews. It should have been Terry. Crews. Nah, that'd be a horrible pick. He's too bad. Oh, he would be fucking popping and locking. Oh uh, yeah, and that's and that's Roadblock <laughs> yeah, though. You guys remember Roadblock? Roadblock. I do. He was, was on rapping. Roadblock was, was on was. rapping. And I feel like your first, your first two albums were based on Roadblock. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Terry Crews would have been perfect. I just didn't say <laughs> Roblox's favorite thing. He'd say to uh, uh, Bazooka and uh, what's the other guy, the sailor? Uh, Bazooka and Shipwreck. Uh, Shipwreck. Shipwreck. He'd, he'd call him Jab Turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> Jab Turkeys. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I mean, you guys remember the scene in uh, Semi Pro when they're around the table playing cards? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he calls him a Jab Turkey. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They stopped the game. <laughs> I haven't uh, seen that in a while. I think I'm gonna put that on soon. Now go to Amazon and buy the unrated version. It has like 20 additional oh, minutes, and it's so much better. Okay. Oh so, uh, yeah. So check out that. So there's your DC news that I have. Carlos had news about Ant Man. He try. He's trying to tell me the Fantastic Four shows up. So we'll see. Well, I also heard rumor of the Eternals. 
I don't know if it's a sequel or just that. No, the sequel. That's what I heard. I heard it's gonna Stupid be an oh. island at the end. That you know, the giant that came out of the water. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, uh -oh. Captain America Four is based on them going there yeah. to try to mine Adadantium. Oh. And Captain America is there to stop them, and Adadantium obviously oh. is what is uh, Wolverine's claws. Wolverine's claws are made out of. Claws made out of. Made out of yeah, his skeleton. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the rumor. That's what I hear. Who's trying to mine it? Uh, miners. You know <laughs> that would make sense. <laughs> that would make sense. A dopey, uh, <laughs> stupid <laughs> question. <laughs> Easy, <That's> stupid, <laughs> dark, uh, bashful. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> I don't know his name, but he's pretty bashful. Though. That's pretty obvious. <laughs> the miners would show up to mine it. <laughs> they, I heard they do an Eternals too, though. I did hear that. Yeah, that's yeah, unfortunate. Not, man. This movie didn't make part one. Didn't make enough for them to warrant a part two. But it's the kind of movie that you can. I only think they're just going to sprinkle them in in amongst the. Well, you have to, right? Because three of them went off to space with uh, Thanos's brother. Yeah, with Harry Styles. Harry Styles they went and started the new uh, One Direction. Yeah, <laughs> right. And then, yeah. You had, and then you had a couple on Earth still, and a, and a few died. And Icarus, I can't remember if he died or not. He was the bad guy. He went into the sun. That's right. Yeah. He went into the sun. It's like the Greek story. <laughs> yeah. And he, I'm pretty sure he's not dead. And then Black Knight, they haven't used his It doesn't ass. matter if they died. They're all clones. What it's does it basically, it, oh, that movie was so dumb. And then <clears throat> that movie really was, though, to just break them apart and sprinkle them around. That's really going yeah, to you're gonna sprinkle them. It's going to salt bay them all yeah. over the universe. Yeah. Put them here. Put them there. Yeah. Um, I think Aquaman. I mean, what? Ant Man looks good, though. Aquaman? Aquaman does look good. Look too. at you! You're trying to bring Black Adam into the. Into I was trying. To <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> gotta have Black Adam in everything. He, he's really got to do whatever he can before the XFL season starts. <laughs> it's gonna bomb. Uh, it's gonna bomb worse than Black Adam. The XFL is <laughs> a couple of weeks away. February. I know. Yeah. I know. That's why Super he's trying Bowl, to make right? these deals. Oh right no, that's Super Bowl. So that league ain't going anywhere. Unlike the last two iterations. It's like the minor league of football, isn't that, what he, isn't that why he hooked, hooked up with the NFL to make it the minor league? No, he of says NFL? it's don't. He said don't call it the minor league of football. Oh, but the NFL is in a partnership, but the only partnership they're in is the rules. That's all they're in a partnership with, which is stupid. But the partnership basically is that's making no sense. You can make up your own rules. You can take rules from the NFL. It doesn't matter. No, no, vice versa. The NFL wants to take their rules if uh. it works out. And you can't just take their rules, you know. So they want to. So they're they're you they're, can copyright a rule. I don't know. It seems so. So they're working with them oh, to basically because they do have the better rules. The XFL, the kickoff's way better. Um, That'd be funny. The, yeah, the we copyrighted is... the rule where you win if you have more points. We copyrighted that shit. <laughs> yeah, Nobody exactly. else can win. But win it, win isn't the anymore. kickoff still like you just run to the middle and if you fucking injure yourself, you're out for the season? No, you put the ball in the middle. What? No, that was the original. It and grab it. What, what's, guys, what is it now? Don't you guys remember the original XFL? There was no coin toss. Yeah, they just fucking ran they to the middle. Each other. Like, the I remember fast, one dude they got two injured, fastest guys, and they were yeah, like, they had, all right, well. Oh, kind of like the smear the first. queer? Is that what it was? Whoever yeah, yeah, it was, the, it was the two fastest guys oh. from each team, and whoever got the ball first got to get to choose the kickoff. Oh, that's that's stupid as shit. But there, um, the rule for them is you can't. the team that kicks the ball can't take off until the guy catches it. So they, there's dumb. no... They're going to no, give no. them hell of room to run. No, no, it's not. It's not. The teams are only 10 yards away from each other. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And the reason Damn. why they do that, nobody's allowed to have a running head start. No concussions and so forth. It's it's eliminate that because that was the NFL's problem. That's why they get rid of the basically there's no fucking kickoff in NFL at all. Kick it out of the end zone every damn time. They yeah, want to get rid of concussions. Because so that's yeah. where concussions happen most was the kickoff. Because <clears throat> the team, the kickoff team had a running head start. They just run into your ass right away. Like so they they, they eliminated that. But, Do you um, remember the time when uh, you guys invited me to football for Thanksgiving and Donald ran me over? And Donald ran you over? Yeah, Pina just fucking ran me over, and then you guys just kept playing the rest of the game, and I was just laying there. <laughs> and I, mean, I that's like football. I, I, I could I forgot my my colors. I couldn't taste, <laughs> taste salami. Like it was the weirdest fucking. <laughs> you forgot what race you were. And I you, always... you guys just kept playing. What the fuck? I I, I, I always. <laughs> Remember one one of the years we played where I think it was, I think it was Albert, because I was quarterback and I go to throw it and he pushes me, like just pushes me in the front as I throw it, and I hit my head so hard 
I was just out. That was done. I was like, holy shit, this thing's never going to stop ringing. It's a full concussion. I was like, what the fuck? And my head was just pounding. And it never ended ups. with like a, a winner, right? It ended with like, oh, he should We're probably done. go to hospital. Like, yeah. No, it, yeah, it ended up with, hey, pick him up. Hey, next play, where do you want to run? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm facing the other way. <laughs> Where'd you guys all go? <laughs> Did you guys watch that uh, YouTube thing that I sent you where the soccer player like blocks the goals with his face? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's an older one, but uh, yeah, that's what it reminded me of. Well, I mean, you guys, of course, saw the Bills player that had a heart attack on the field. Damar. Damar Hamlin. And then uh, uh, at the hospital had another heart attack. Jesus. Uh, Crazy. Absolutely nuts. What is your opinion of his injury? What do you think caused his injury? The hit to the chest. That's it. Yeah, but he didn't. But he hit the other guy. He didn't get no, hit. I know, the chest. but it's still the, it was still the impact. I don't know. It didn't look and that hard of a hit. I think it's yeah. a pre, like a pre-existing condition. It had to be something to that effect, or just the timing of the hit. I don't even. Oh, it was wild, man. And then people were like, "Oh, that's oh my god, I can't believe it." And all everybody's in shock. I'm like, "No, it's football. It's like, football." It's football. Like, do you understand? Like, that's that's never probably ever going to happen again in your lifetime. You'll probably never see that happen again. It's just, it, it, you know, it's just, it was that one moment in time that I guess the timing of the hit was perfect, I guess. I don't even know. Like, it was wild because he fell dead on the field. Literally just fell backwards dead. I was like, holy shit. So, um, and he, he, he did die on the field, basically. Twice, twice, really, yeah, and he's in critical condition on a ventilator. And, on a ventilator, uh, yeah, it's wild, man. <laughs> and then, you know, what do you if you're a football player, you can't. How would you? How would you? How would you take it? You think if you're a football player I would on any say team, it's, it's a one off situation. Like, yeah, hey, this, right. This doesn't happen. It's just like with MMA, like uh, people have died, but like in the amateur organizations and things like that, but. Uh, for UFC, no one's ever died. Like you just I mean, boxing, people have died. Boxers have died in the ring. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And they didn't stop boxing. Period. The, the no, but they they adjusted it. the rules. Like uh, they went from fifteen rounds to twelve or eighteen to twelve or something like that. Oh yeah, they did. They changed that, but you can't change football. No, you know what I mean. You can't. You, just, you can never change it. It's, you can say you can't hit this way when you're on the field. You can't tell a player how to hit any. And Carlos said though, you watch that play. He makes a tackle on the wide receiver, mm. and it, and his shoulder, the receiver's shoulder, hits him yeah, in the chest. A, yeah, he's the safety. And then it's like it looked like a standard tackle. And yeah, and was, he's, that was it was so light compared to some of the hits you see on like the highlight reels. And yeah, stuff. and then Hamlin got so up. Light. He and stood he up, just, just fell, just got up and took one step and fell backwards. Absolutely wild. Looks. Uh, I think if I was the quarterback of one of the teams, I would have gone back to the huddle spot. Let's go. <laughs> like, like, wait, what? 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 No? Well, you guys like the card off players that get full concussions and paralyzed, and you guys keep playing? Like, happened a couple years ago. A guy got paralyzed, I think, on the Steelers, like maybe eight years ago. They just took him off the field. Next play, and that, that was he's paralyzed from the neck down. Like, yeah, I heard there was talks that they might not redo the game, or they might not. Uh, well, there's no point. Like, I think that game just give the teams a tie on the record. Whatever, mm. just give him a time. It doesn't we'll, change the outcome. Yeah, yeah, they're both in first place. Who cares? I see. Yeah, <laughs> let them. You know, let them. You know, a hockey player a couple years back, same thing. He had a heart attack. Uh, no, uh, not my bad. Soccer player, Eric Christensen. Soccer, yeah, yeah, had Eric a Christensen. heart attack on the field as well. Yeah. Basically, died on the field himself and mm. uh, revived. Had a heart yeah. attack. Just and wild. he's playing again. He played in his last World Cup. Oh yeah, well they've the Bills have said that if Hamlin makes a full recovery, he should be able to play again. I just don't know if he'll make a full that. recovery. I don't <laughs> of think. Of course, gonna they're have... gonna say that. They're gonna be. <laughs> no, they're no, they're no. not gonna be like you know. We no, but I don't think let he's him gonna. Go. I don't know if he's gonna have. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna release him. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's what happened with Christian. Here's a Harrison. Jim Kelly autograph T-shirt. Uh, <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Jim Kelly autograph t-shirt. And a t-shirt, not even a not even a jersey, just a t-shirt. <laughs> here's a Wheaties box. You know what? Well, they give a Tom Brady jersey. Oh, here's the ball he's you made. He's better. Here's the ball you made the tackle on. Yeah, you get so much. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, here's what happened to Christian Erickson. They attached a mini defibrillator to his heart. So what happens hey. if his heart stops, it shocks him. And it keeps his heart going. 
and that's how he's able to continue to play soccer. And he, he's aware of the of the dangers of it. And he says he thinks he's only felt it maybe two or three times, like an actual shock. But that's what they did to him. So it could be something they can do for him, for DeMar, if he wants mm. to take the risk. I mean, there's a difference between so, soccer yeah, I say, and football. Difference. Yeah. I mean, yeah. especially him, he's a safety. You know, he's got to make a tackle where soccer, I mean, you can avoid getting hit, you know, just pass the ball faster, run away, you know, whatever. Well, and, and I mean, that's just it. Is he going to have brain function? Because they're saying that's the number one concern. It's his, yeah, he was out for a minute. true, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, did he lose his enough oxygen? Uh, to too much brain. oxygen, yeah. 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 It's crazy. It's it's crazy, but I, I just, well, I'm like, it's football. That's what happened. That's what happened. Football happened. And, you know, we, we watch it every Sunday. People get smashed left and right. We cheer it, so. I'm surprised it actually hasn't happened before. Before, but right? That, that's why I feel like this is one of those pre-existing conditions, because, um, as the vaccine, sorry, I oh, knew it. I knew it. COVID, <laughs> COVID got him. COVID again. We got a mask up again. COVID. But I mean, that's why we wear. That's why we watch football, right? The same reason some people watch NASCAR, They're looking for the hits, the accidents, the big crashes. That's why we watch football. It's a violent game, and that's why I watch it. I mean, I don't watch it for hits. Oh, I love watching it for hits. I watch yeah. it every season for the Redskins to get last place. <laughs> the who? Uh, the, who? the commanders. My mistake. I was racist. I was racist. 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 I just, I just, I mix, uh, mix slur and racist together. I was racist. <laughs> Fascist <laughs> and racist. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> Hitler looks at him and is like, "Ooh, you're a bad man." I know. <laughs> no, but I saw white noise. What are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So you're right, though. I mean, a kid died in Little League, not like maybe a couple years back. He got struck Several in the chest and ago, died. Yeah, hit in the chest. Yeah, the ball hit him like, right when his heart, I don't know, was pumping in, pumping out, whatever. It, it stopped yeah, his heart. and they're saying that that's what happened maybe to this guy. That that point where the heart, that right when it between it taking beats, it hit yeah. him where it stops your heart because your heart's not, you know, that one moment where it's not beating, literally just stops it. And it, you know, so we'll see. Hopefully, he pulls through. And um, Beyonce's the halftime show for the Super Bowl. So hey, there we go. Hmm. Yeah. So we got that, and XFL starts one week after. Hey. I, I I don't know. I, I think if Beyonce uh, goes down, new edition yeah. step up. <laughs> they performed on Beyonce New Year's. Is it Rihanna? It doesn't matter. Is it Rihanna? Uh, well, is it Rihanna? We're talking about new edition. Who? Is it Rihanna or Beyonce? It's Rihanna. Ah, disappointed. I wanted Beyonce. Oh well, uh, she did Rihanna already. Really good, though. I know, but her new album's really good, so I wanted to hear it. No, I don't know. A new edition. New Come edition on. did yeah. good. Who's, who's I'm with not me? gonna lie. I saw them and they did pretty good. But Bobby Brown, boy, Woo. Ooh, Woo. He... he can't. He can't keep up with the dancing. Everybody else was great. Like they were 20 years old. How do you dancing. dance from a stool? But he just can't. It's like that's no, not even that. Well, everybody's moving at a good rate and doing the good moves. He's giving like 10% effort. He's like, I'll, I'll catch up, fellas. Just keep, I'll catch up. <laughs> and everybody yeah. sounded great. Of course, they did the hits. They did the hits. Um, they did uh, the first one was Bobby. Bobby did, uh, was it My Prerogative? No. My Prerogative. It, no, no, it's my bad. Was it Step by Step or My Prerogative? Hey, we're little step by take. No, no, it, was, it, was, it was My Prerogative. prerogative. Yeah. And then it was followed by uh, Poison, right? Poison. And Bill Bib DeVoe was Bib there? Bib well, Actually, I, I think uh, Johnny Gill started it off. Was it Johnny Gill? He did yeah, his yeah. first? And and their concerts are very much like that. They'll do individual hits. They'll oh, it should be. do a yeah. group hit and then back and forth. Back yeah, because the, the best song was last. The yeah. best song was uh, New Edition's best song. At least my opinion is their best song. And it's uh, Johnny, you know it. What is it called? Come on. Come on. It oh, is you in love? It. Yep. It is in love. I, thought, I was like, oh, this is great. The kids probably don't know this. They're listening to the freaking audience. This is a great song. Like, I was Ralph Trevis didn't, didn't get to do a song. Ah, I felt bad. I'm wondering though, because like when uh, uh, Carson Daly like interviewed him, he's like, uh, Mike, uh, what do you think? And tell me your thoughts and whatever. And Ralph Trevis, the leader of the group, and there's always like infighting with the group. Like at one point, like. Uh, <clears throat> Four out of the six, like trademark the name New Edition, and the other two. I remember like, that. Yeah, all kinds of like random fighting. So I, I bet, I bet there's some backstage fighting about this shit too. Well, when when they asked them that, I thought it was funny because they're like, "So, so Mike, what's going on with you guys?" And I thought, "Why don't you ask Tresvent? He's the yeah. leader." But Mike, you know, he's the one that runs the tour. 
And then when he started ringing off names on the tour, I was like, I gotta get tickets. <laughs> He's like, yeah, keep sweat. And this guy, I was like, yeah, that's a good concert. <laughs> it's started, not bad. Are naming all these names? I was like, it's oh, not I'll... bad. Their last one was uh, with Jodeci and uh, oh, Charlie wow. Wilson, and Jodeci wow. was just terrible. They looked like I could like imagine four crackheads you, just you like show their penis again. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't oh. see any ding dongs, oh. but oh. Okay. no, this one I think he said it was like keep sweat. Um, Tank and Tank, uh, and there's another big name. I think it was a female, right? Janet Jackson. No. Oh no, not Janet. That'd be good though. I can't remember, but it's just Keith Sweat. And Tank. But when he said Keith Sweat, I was already sold. Yeah, I was like, oh, Keith Sweat, because he still sounds phenomenal. So R. Kelly. All right. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he released an album recently. I Raven saw Jeff, that shit. And they got taken down right away. Oh, a uh, guy. Guys oh, guys, the... there. Okay. Yeah. They have one song, so that's good. Ooh, yeah. What if Elder Barge was there? Oh, Elder. You know, it's the same as Guy, I guess. Same so. as Guy, really. <laughs> Elder Barge has like three songs. Guy has one. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Oh, is Guy gonna do one song? Yeah, I tried it? to uh, download uh, R. Kelly's uh, prison hits, but and I, I couldn't find it. So <sighs> so sad. So sad. What was the name of the album? If I pee on you, <laughs> I don't know what it was called. <laughs> What it was called, but it's so so sad. It's Put so some sad. money on my books. <laughs> <laughs> I like Doritos. Yeah. It's called <laughs> ramen equals money <laughs> in prison. Exactly. Exactly. Well, there you go. That's our show, everyone. We hope you liked it. We'll see you. Oh, remember, Nerds Media Network. And we're gonna have well, I mean, Carlos has a secret. Carlos has secret shows. That's all I know. He's telling yeah. me about this secret shows and then joy valentine will be joining us so you'll get to hear him monday wednesday fridays you get to hear taco tuesday well of course on tuesday and you'll get to hear nurse talking on friday so you know we're gonna have a, and we're gonna have more coming and do they have uh uh thursday so, show pineapple pizza on thursdays taco thursday don't know yet don't know if it's uh have to negotiate with those fellas oh, okay they're, they're kind of they're hard to deal with sometimes <laughs> especially alan so now we got a we got a special show coming up soon. Oh, we do. Besides the accent show. Can't wait for that oh, one. That's a good one. Show. <laughs> it's a good one. You know what? Yeah. Give me a sample. No, you gotta wait. <laughs> and uh <laughs> and we're gonna have a show with our, our mates from uh Pod Culture Oz. Oh, the Aussies. Australia, the Aussies, yeah. Ah, oh, the Aussies. They're working out the date and time on that one. Since Good old Aussies. They're on the other side of the planet. Um, all right, yeah. well, there you go. That's our show, everyone. Thanks for tuning in Nerds Talking to Podcast. Or Johnny. See you. Or Carlos. Bye-bye. And I'm Lafayette. See you next week. Have yourselves a great weekend. Everybody say they know, but I don't really think they know what it's like to walk in my shoes. People say their friends they fall. I've been through it all before. This game ain't nothing new. Cause I've been around the world. Hey, hey, yeah. And I've been around the world. Oh, oh. And I've seen a thing or two. So many aching bones I. Don't know what's really wrong. I feel like I've been doing this way way too long. I've done opening acts. I've done closing shows. Hit the open road, hit every stage. Try to put my feet on every stage. Trying to get myself hey, noticed. Trying to hey. get myself recognized. Trying to get a manager to approach me and say, I represent I, your I represent. life. But there's been no such luck. Nope. It's a bunch of corny dumb, dumb fucks. Backpacks and battle raps hey, and talking me? about their computer yeah, labs. Blah, 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 blah. You can find me on that street. You can cop my CD. Hey. Five dollars with you. Hassle me long like enough, rap? you'll get what? that for oh, free. Go. I've been in so many meetings. I've met so many suits. Told me that we like what you do. But at this moment, we're not, right like we're not right for you. Everybody say they know. But I don't really think they know what it's like to walk in my shoes. People say they friends, they fall. I've been through it all before. This game ain't nothing new. Because I've been no Being from the east to the west, being on plane to plane. No matter what, when I touch down, everything seems to be the same. Stardom so far out my range that it seems strange. Think I'm gonna give up on this fortune in the fame. 
Wanna see my name in the lights, wanna rock chains that are bright All of these things seem so far out of sight By the end of the night, I don't know what I'm gonna do Think the only thing I can do is keep on writing true Everybody say they know, but I don't really think they know What it's like to walk in my shoes People say they friends, they fall I've been through it all before This game ain't nothing new Cause I've been around the world It's time for me to quit Hang the mic up, that's it No more living the life That I know don't exist I keep on pushing I keep on struggling What's that word everybody else says? Oh yeah Hustling. I know my game's better than y'all cats ever done heard. Y'all run around the block with your guns and your cars and your girls. That's word. That's fresh. That's dope, man. And we brought the word fly back. Most dudes don't know this, but they bunch of recycled acts. I'm a psycho in a mask, riding my axe. Sucking through my rats, rapping through my bag. Looking for a pen so I can attach and pack that beat. See me? I'm an MC. Y'all never be, can't be like me. I'm like Sunday in your nice clothes. I'm the closest thing to a deity. God bless you. Everybody say they know. But I don't really think they know what it's like to walk in my shoes. People say the friends they fall. I've been through it all before. This game ain't nothing new. Cause I've been no